Hello. Um, back in my room after it's currently lunchtime on Tuesday, so we've had all of the individual rounds that we're going to have. Um, we finished the last three individual rounds, I think it was, this morning, and then we are about halfway through a team round. It was meant to finish before lunch, um, but they're running a little bit behind schedule, which I think is kind of normal for these events. Um, it's a sequence of uh, puzzles where e each one you're against one opponent uh, from a different country. Um, so in the last match, for example, all four of the GBA team, uh, we each faced a different person from the, I think it was the Estonia B team. And basically within each pair, whoever finishes the puzzle first gets a point. And within each match, if you win more points, you get three big points that go towards like an overall table. Um, the problem is <laughs> you've only been given five minutes for each of these puzzles, so a lot of these matches are finished nil-nil because nobody's finished any of them, so we could have made them a little bit easier. Uh, but it's it's an interesting concept. They just needed either a little bit more time or slightly easier puzzles. So we'll see how we get on. The top 16 qualify for a knockout stage, so we might do that because we did win one of our matches, uh, which was an incredibly close game. Actually, no, we won 4-0. We almost won 3-1. Um, but that was classic. Sudoku was the only puzzle that we've actually managed to solve. The others have been slight variations, which in theory doesn't necessarily make them harder, but they have been harder. So that's the team round that we're in. The individual scores, I don't think they've marked today's rounds, or if they have, I haven't seen the results. So overnight, I'm kind of on the fringes of the top hundred, which is a bit lower than I thought I might be, but um, that's for all competitors. So the way it works is only people on the A teams are considered official competitors. The other people can compete, but they're not eligible for some of the prizes. And the way most people, if you're on an A team, you kind of look at the official uh, rankings. So I'm roughly in the 90s slash low hundreds, but um, once you take out the unofficial competitors, I will move up quite considerably. But probably still lower than I would have liked, but we'll see where we end up. We've still got a few rounds uh, for results to come in, like I said, for ones this morning. I don't think they went particularly well, but um, maybe everybody else did even worse. Remains to be seen. Um, this afternoon, we finished the last team round. Then there's uh, what they're calling a wild card round, which is a way for certain individuals who haven't made the playoffs. So the playoffs will be consisting of the top 12 plus the winner of the wild card, essentially. So it's a way for lower ranking people to, to qualify for the playoffs. Um, but to do that, you need to be the top ranking person within your country once you exclude the top 12. And none of us are going to be in the top 12, probably. So, and Mark is a long way ahead of the rest of us, so Mark will take the A team spot in the playoffs, or in the wild card rather. Um, and we'll see how far he gets. And then at the end of that, once they've had the wild card and found the winner, that person joins the top 12 to do the overall playoffs. And those playoffs decide who wins the World Sudoku Championship for 2022. Um, yeah, nothing else to add. We've had the last team round, so there's not actually going to be that much more solving for me to do. Um, so I can just kind of relax and let the action happen in front of me and uh, start preparing for the puzzle championship, which is my main forte compared to the Sudoku. Uh, so that starts on Thursday. Tomorrow is a day off and we're doing a, a tour of the local area. So I think there's some salt mines that we've uh, arranged to go to uh, that Tom had been uh, recommended. So that's an organised tour, which is quite handy, so we've got to pay for it, but we don't have to arrange any of the transport or anything, so that should be convenient. So I might not give too many updates tomorrow, because there isn't a lot happening apart from that. Uh, everyone who's just doing the Sudoku will be leaving at some point tomorrow, everyone who's just doing the puzzles will be arriving tomorrow, and those of us crazy people that are here all week will be staying and doing the tour, and yeah. Uh, the real fun, in my view. <laughs> which is the puzzles, that starts on Thursday. So uh, I'll probably do another update, I guess, before then, just to, if and when I find out who actually wins the overall competition after the playoffs have all happened. Um, but for now, I will say goodbye. Thanks for watching.